Welcome to episode 24 of Gliding to Glory. The NHL 94 event is officially in Hockey Ultimate Team, and we have a decision to make on if we want to make the Wayne Gretzky from this event or continue on with his power-up icon. On top of that, I have around 22 packs saved up, plus we'll do more packs throughout the video, probably close to the 30 packs in total. And of course, we're going to hop into a game of Hut Champs this week and hopefully get a W. Now, of course, I'm going to make all four of this week's MSPs because you get that 90 overall Ronick next week if you make all eight of them. That Ronick would be a great addition to the team, probably our number one center by the end of the series. So Ronick would be our number one, Matthews our number two. I think that's a great one-two combo, especially heading into team of the season. Here's a reminder of what the team is looking like before we get into today's pack. So we have Mario with Matthews and Hall. We have Svech with Eichel and Solani. Barzell with Carter and Kucherov. And then we have Hughes with Messier and Pedersen. On defense, we're running Newman in with Lidstrom. We have McCabe and Dobson, Hamilton and Klingberg. And in net, we have Igor Shosturkin at an 86. The team is definitely going to be changing today. And we may even trade in that Elias Pedersen. We may no longer use him. Because I need to get players for the current event. So that way we can complete more objectives and get more coins for the team of the season pack opening. We currently have 1,398,451 coins. And this is a team that we've been able to build without using those coins. You know what I mean? Like I've been able to build this team without using the auction house a single time. I have not sold a card. I have not bought a card. I have built this team through sets, packs, and objectives. We're hoping to be around 1.6 million when we do our big team of the season pack opening. I'd like for it to be more. But let's go ahead and get into our pack opening. We have some pretty good packs this week. Honestly, not anything insane. I'm not going to sit there and be like, yeah, we have the best pack opening ever. But we do have a mini ultimate near the end here. So some of them are really good. Some of them not so great. Again, every single pack from playing the game. Rivals, rush, squad battles, moments, whatever else you can get packs from. None of these were bought. For some reason, people still think that I somehow buy packs and save them. That is not a thing. Let's start off our pack opening with a Toronto player pack. One random Toronto Maple Leaf player is in this pack. It is not the five player choice pack or the five player pack that I had in the store, which I would have loved to have had and opened on this team, on this account. Did not happen. I'm not allowed to spend coins. I'm allowed to buy packs. So it did not happen. But who's our random Toronto Maple Leaf player going to be? Bang! Max Domi. Woohoo. We have an elite pack. We have an NHL player pack, a mega pack, a jumbo elite pack, and a mini ultimate pack today. Plus all the other stuff from, you know, Rush and all that other stuff. So maybe we get lucky. Last week we pulled Mario Lemieux. So, I mean, we, we could still get very lucky, right? We pulled Mario Lemieux and I forget, it was Jeff Carter, 92 last week and another purple, I think. Like we had a pretty good week last week. So hopefully we can repeat that, get some good stuff. Nothing here in our mini pack. Now, I was fully expecting team of the season to be this week to start. So I was not expecting to have to do more objectives for, for cards and whatnot. You know what I mean? I thought we were done and we we're just going to build our team. That's not the case. So we are going to go ahead and make a few of these MSPs and get them on the squad and hopefully... Hopefully get some objectives done. Help us get some more coins and uh, maybe we get some good stuff heading into Team of the Season in a couple of weeks because apparently it's not now. Kind of disappointed it's not Team of the Season. I'm not going to lie to you. Like I was fully expecting Team of the Season and, and it lined up well with really every date throughout the year. It just made sense that this was going to be Team of the Season week. It's not. So we have more work to do here in Gliding to Glory and uh, hopefully we can get some uh, some good stuff and just make the team better so we head into team of the season. And again, I got to think about what I want to do with the uh, the Wayne Gretzky. We'll do our mega pack here and skip it, of course. It's it's massive. There's usually nothing in them. I don't see a purple. I see a lot of color changes, though, so I'll take that. But yeah, I don't... Uh, 84 there. Nice. Another 84. Wait a minute. Two 84s and 85. Hey, do you know what? I'm going to take that. Two 84s and an 85 is great. But yeah, we have to make a decision on what Gretzky we want to make. If we go after the current MSP... Um, it is more power-up collectibles, I believe, to get them upgraded. However, I think in the end, it will be a better card for the team. I don't know how far we'll get the power-up icon upgraded. We're not even done the icon yet. But if we if we do go with the MSP, we have all those icons that we made just kind of sitting there. You know, we wasted all those resources getting those icons only for us to not need them. So maybe we go after Gordy Howe instead and we do Gordy Howe and we get the MSP Gretzky. And I don't know, man. It, it's an interesting situation to be in. And we do need to get objectives done, so getting the Gretzky makes sense. So we could put him where Jack Hughes is. I can't believe we're already going to get rid of Jack Hughes, right? Like, we we did all that work getting Jack Hughes. It took, like, six months to get Jack Hughes. We had his MSP or his X-Factor for that long, and we couldn't pull his base card. We finally pull it, only for us to not end up using him because he's been passed over by so many other cards. But we can still make a decision, and, and we can still change that. You know what I mean? That doesn't have to be for sure. Get Neil Pionk here. 
but it certainly is an interesting predicament to be in here. We have our premium pack, then we have a prime pack, and then we'll get into some good stuff here. You have a color change here, and it's going to be, it shouldn't be, it's Hildeby, who is a tall goalie at 78 overall, but he's red, that's weird. I don't think I've seen a 78 overall color change before. Very strange. Prime pack, we get Goose and a Barzell, some coins in there as well to help us as we get closer to 1.4 million. All right, a couple three gold player packs, and then we have our good stuff. Hopefully get ourselves something good here. We do get a Marc-Andre Fleury at an 82. We're at 1.399. We need 800 more coins to be at 1.4 million. All earned by playing the game. Nothing in that pack, though. Here we go. What are we going to get? We have a, our elite pack to start it off. Come on, EA. Hook us up with something big. Give us an MSP. Give me the Gretzky, so that way I don't even need to worry about what we're going to be doing with sets. That's what I want to see happen here. We get Corpus Allo and Erickson Eck. We get a... Wait. We got the Trade Deadline Taylor Hall at 85. This is one that you can use in the sets. If we didn't already make the Taylor Hall, that's an interesting one. But we get an 85 at least. I'll take that. We get uh, Dylan Dubé and we get Alex Tuck. That's uh, an interesting card to have in packs. All right, moving on to our NHL player pack here. 10 more NHL guaranteed items. I think, what, 480 or better? Come on, just need one of them to hit. Even another 85 is great. That's good for sets, you know, give me some collectibles. We got Bowen Byram doing very well in uh, Buffalo. And, eh, nothing there. All right, mini ultimate and jumbo elite. Let's do the mini ultimate first. Nine guaranteed 80 or better. Nine color changes incoming. One of them is going to be at least a purple. At least one's a purple. Come on, EA. Hook us up with a mini ultimate big pull, all right? Come on. Man, the pack luck on this channel. Okay, we got we got Sveshnikov at 83. And that's our best pull. We got Toko. Dang, man. All right, nothing here in the mini ultimate. Last week was awesome for this uh, account. But this uh, this week's not looking good. If you guys don't know, I went uh, about 160 straight packs without a purple pull on this channel. Or on this account, like this uh, series. And then we had our crazy pack look last week. And it looks like we're going to go back to having nothing. So hopefully our Jumbo Elite pack changes that here. We have Sam Bennett. Now this is a decently sized pack. So we won't go super slow through, through it. But we really do just need a purple. Just need something to add to the team, EA. Like a single card from the new event would be so big. Then we don't need to make an MSP. I'm just saying. It would be awesome to get it. Why do I pull so many icons? That's the one thing. I don't get a lot of purples on this channel, but I get an absolute ton of icons. Give me Gretzky. We get Scott Niedermeyer, and I'm pretty sure we don't need him. So cool. The good news is we already have a Scott Niedermeyer. So the other Scott Niedermeyer that we just got while on our way to making the cards that we need. I, we, we, that's awesome. That, that's really good. That's awesome. In fact, I have even better news. We already have Messier. So that Niedermeyer that we had before the one we pulled today was already not going to get used. So, well, guys, from here, I'm going to go ahead and do as many sets as I can to get more packs. And then we'll go ahead and figure out what we're doing with the team after that. All right, we have a few more packs here. Nothing crazy. A couple of minis, a couple of the uh, silver rerolls. Then from here, um, I'm going to make some power-up collectibles, I think. I don't know what I want to do when it comes to Gretzky yet. I, we could just make Gordy Howe for the end of the series and then make this Gretzky. And that might be the smartest thing to do. You know what I mean? Like, it might be smarter just to get all three. We have Mario Gretzky and Howe on the team by the end of the year. It won't be the power-up Gretzky, but we'll have a Gretzky. You know what I mean? I think that'd be a pretty cool uh, line to have by the end of the season. But I don't know. Do I? Uh, do we just wait another week before doing the power-up icons? Do we just make Gretzky this week? We need power-up collectibles, right? Like, that's how we're going to build this team up all the way. So that's what we're going to be doing today, trading stuff in for power-up collectibles. This may be the end of Pedersen at 92 overall. Not even the color change in any of these packs, so whatever. But we do need power-up collectibles no matter what here. We need them for Mario Lemieux. We need them for Brian McCabe. And we need them for Dougie Hamilton. And trading in Pedersen will get us five. You know what I mean? That would be big. We can also get rid of Jack Hughes at this point. I don't even know if we're going to end up using him, which is really frustrating. But if we make Gretzky today, we can have Gretzky, Messier, and, say, LaFontaine if we make that MSP as well. And then we can get some objectives done with the players from this event. I just think it makes sense to do, so... Unfortunately, 92, Elias Pedersen is gone. He's not going to be better than Hull. He's not going to be better than Svetch. He's not going to be better than Kucherov. He gets us five power-up collectibles. Messier would not get us that many. It only makes sense. So Elias Pedersen, 92 overall, is officially off the team. We're going to do the same thing here with Jack Hughes. Unfortunately, 
It just didn't work out. If we would have had Hughes earlier in the year, we could have powered him up all the way. But at this point, I'm not using all these collectibles to get him up to 94 to play on the fourth line. You know what I mean? It's just not going to happen. So, pretty sure we lost a collectible by doing this, which is kind of frustrating. But it is what it is. It's just not, not meant to be on the team. So, we'll get our collectible back. We got our base Jack Hughes back, which took us so long to get. We went from November to March, pretty much, to get this card. And we're not going to use them. But we do get some coins back, at least. It was a mistake upgrading them. It's as simple as that. Just It was a mistake. We get 3750 back and then another 750 for another 4500 total added to the collection. And there we go. Jack Hughes downgraded and off the squad. I did go ahead and write that down that we got those coins back from the Jack Hughes. We'll move him off the team as we are going to be adding players from the current event to the team to help us get objectives done. That's just what we need to do. The same thing's going to be said here about John Klingberg. He is officially off the squad. We have coffee or leech that we can make and we're going to add in. So we'll definitely be doing that as well. So yeah, power up collectibles are definitely going to be needed. Now this honestly kind of hurts to do. Get rid of Elias Pettersson. Great card. Honestly, Pettersson's card and his build is like perfect for me. I know he's bigger than what I would typically like. I usually use smaller cards, but he's not super, uh, what's the word? Like clunky on the ice, even though he's bigger, right? Goodbye. Five collectibles incoming and two player packs. Let's open up those packs now. Maybe we get lucky in one of these packs. You never know, right? You never know. It's definitely possible. And then from here, I'm just going to make more collectibles. We'll open up more packs if we get any of them. But we're going to make more power-up collectibles and just upgrade the players that need to be upgraded. It's going to happen. We get Cam Fowler, the former Spitfire in our pack. Cool. We get one more of these player packs. I'll just skip it. We're guaranteed at, le at least 180 or better. And our luck this week continues without a single purple as we get Ryan Pollock. We currently have 276 players in the collection. We can go ahead and make power-up icons. We can go ahead and make power-up collectibles. But we are going to go ahead and make a lot of stuff. Now, we have these 87s. These are the ones you get for free, right? From Rush and from Objectives and that. We also have the Marchment. And we have the Flurry. I don't think we're going to add either of them. I think I'd rather have the... Maybe we keep Flurry. Right? We could do Flurry. We keep him instead of making power-up collectibles out of him. Then we only need to make one MSP. We still have the same amount of players on the team. That saves us resources. I think we keep Flurry. We put him on our fourth line. I'd rather have Coffee or Leech down here, I think, so we'll trade in Marchment. But yeah, let's add Theo Fleury to the fourth line. 87 overall, why not? Playing one game of Hut Rush to get a car with 96 speed and acceleration is not that big of a deal, actually. I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll go ahead and add him on. So we need one lefty, and we need one defenseman, and I just, I feel like Gretzky's probably the play, right? You put Gretzky down here, and then you put, say, Leech here, and then we just use our power-up collectibles to upgrade players, and we wait another week for Icons where we make Gordie Howe, maybe? I don't know. See, here's my thing. Gretzky at an 85 is still better than most cards, right? 85 overall, he has 92 speed and excel and a really good shot already. If we upgrade him a couple times, like this card becomes pretty much just as good as Kucherov. You know what I mean? Like he gets up there pretty quickly. So yeah, I think we're going to make this Gretzky and then we'll make his uh, power up icon and we'll make the Gordy Howe power up icon maybe next week. And our fourth line or our third line or second line or whatever we want to do can be Mario in the middle, Gretzky on the left wing and Howe on the right wing. Maybe, I don't know, man. I just, I feel like we worked towards getting a power-up icon this long. Only for us to get Gordy Howe at the end kind of feels lackluster because he is the worst one of the three. The least expensive one, the easiest one to get. But like, ah, man, I don't know. All right, well, what can we do with our power-up collectibles? Do we have any 88s to trade in? We do not. How about 87s? I know we definitely have some 87s here. So, for trading in Greenway and Klingberg, which we got for free from the last event, we're going to get two player packs and four power-up collectibles. That's absolutely helpful. Let's open up those player packs. And what's good about the player packs is that it actually helps fill the collection even more, right? Like we're getting more stuff for the collection, more stuff to trade in. Maybe we get a good card to trade in. Maybe. No, but hey, a couple more uh, gold cards at least. Let's go slow through this player pack. Maybe that'll change the luck around. Not much luck this week in the packs. We're over 30 packs on the on the video, but there's Jack Eye at an 80. And we also get Keandre Miller. So not great. Now, I think for an MSP, we're going to go with Brian Leach for defense. We already have five collectibles from doing Moments and Hot Rush. So we need three more collectibles. We'll make that right now and get Leach on the squad. By trading an 85, I get the three collectibles and I get a base pack. So we'll do that and that'll help us out. So that's one card gone, but we get the Brian Leach at an 85. And then we get a base pack. And in our base pack, we're going to pull a power-up collectible. That's my prediction. In this pack right here, power-up collectible. Prove me right, EA. Please give me something worth pulling this week anything that 83 Niedermeyer was not it and unfortunately nothing in that pack either all right Brian Leach added to the team there we go perfect and now we need to make another player 
Do we want to make Gretzky? We can go with LaFontaine too, but I don't think that LaFontaine's... I mean, he's a righty, so I don't really think that matters. Yeah, let's just make Gretzky. Screw it. We need eight more collectibles. Let's just get eight, eight collectibles and get it done. If anything, we can trade in for straight up eight. There is. What do we need? 187, which we don't have. Hmm. But I get two player packs if I trade in... Nah, I, I don't think it's worth it. I think we'll just do... Uh, we'll do 286s then. We'll trade in 286s. And uh, we'll get our player packs and our collectibles, and we will go ahead and make ourselves that Wayne Gretzky 85 overall. There it is. Dylan Strom, see ya. Couple more player packs. We're over 30 packs. I think there's, what, 32 packs now? Cool. And our best pull of being an 83. I guess technically we got an 85 today. So we got some 85s. But we got an 83 icon, which would be what sold for the most, which is still wild to think about. We got Gabe Velarde, the former Spitfire, and Lucas Raymond, who's been amazing this year, and Nate Danielson. All right, I'll take this. I mean, it's not good for the series, it's just good for me. Like, I, I like those players. I got this. I figured out what I'm gonna do. We need Gretzky no matter what to make the Ronick. So let's use Gretzky for this week until next week, where we will make the Ronick and we'll make Wayne Gretzky power up icon. I'm a genius. I figured out exactly what we need to do. I totally forgot that we're going to be adding that Jeremy Roenick, right? So if we add that Roenick to the team who is the master or the ultimate MSP from this event, that takes up a spot on the right side or down the middle, depending on where we want to play Roenick. But we need to trade in the Gretzky, which means that we might actually not upgrade Leech either. We're going to need him, but that kind of hurts us at 85 on defense for the week. We could just make another Leech. Haven't decided what I want to do yet. But we have another week. So next week, we're going to be adding that Ronick, no matter what, at 90 overall minimum. We'll probably upgrade him a bit. Which means I don't want to use any power-up collectibles this week on cards that we're trading in next week. Is Leech going to be on the team the rest of the year? Maybe. This is a really good card. It is. This is a really good card. He's already got good skating. If we upgrade him to a 90, hypothetically, looking at him at a 90, yeah, this is a great card. And he's probably better than McCabe. We'll probably end up keeping Leech. We will. We'll probably end up keeping Leech. So, we'll have to make another Leech, but Leech could be locked onto the team. He might even be our number one D-man if he gets upgraded all the way. It'd be Leech, Lindstrom, then McCabe. Then we could do, uh, say, Hamilton up all the way, too. It'd be Hamilton, Newman, and Dobson. It's a really good D-line heading into the team of the season. I'm pretty happy with this. We got adding Gretzky. I think we're going to keep Leech, though. We might upgrade him a bit this week. We're not going to touch Gretzky. We'll make his power-up icon next week, but we'll use his 85 this week to help us get objectives done. Now, if we didn't use the 85 Gretzky to make Ronick, this wouldn't be happening. But because we need to use Gretzky, I'm not making Gretzky twice, we'll just use the 85 for a week, which already has good skating. It's not the end of the world that we use him for, for seven days. But we'll use him, and we'll use Leech. We'll upgrade Leech, we'll keep him, we'll make another Leech, which means we need to make LaFontaine, Leech, Coffee, and then the four MSPs next week to get the 90 Ronick who will be our number one center at the end of the uh, at the end of the game here. So pretty happy with how that's going to work out. We can also make that Gretzky next week, so I'm not going to make any icons this week. We're going to do that all in one big episode next week, but I will see if I can make some more power-up collectibles before we get finished here. Not a lot of team changes this week. We have 585 to trade in. No, we have four. We just used the fifth one. Okay, so we have 585 to trade in, which we could just use to get collectibles for the MSPs for next week, so maybe we just don't bother. Any 84s? We have enough 84s to trade in. We have four. That'll give us two power-ups. We'll lose one of the 85s for next week. No, it's fine. It's fine. We'll lose one of the 85s for next week, but it only it makes us lose a player pack and a collect. It's not the end of the world. We'll get a couple 85s next week. 83s to trade in? No, we have that Marchman. We're, we're not going to trade that in. We're not going to do that for 83s. So that's it for power-up collectibles then. Let's see what we can upgrade. Now, of course, we're going to want to upgrade Mario. At least one time, he gets a speed boost. Like, we need to upgrade Mario here, 100%. So, Mario, get upgraded. There you go, bud. Enjoy. Now, we have a bunch of power-up collectibles, which is nice. And I want to spread it out. You know what I mean? I want to spread this out. I want to make sure that uh, players are getting upgraded. We're finally going to upgrade McCabe. It's six collectibles. We're going to get it done. We're going to upgrade McCabe all the way, and then he's done, and he's on the team for good. Wait, if we do that... Nope. You know what? We're, hmm, we're doing it. We're not doing it up all the way. He's getting 92. He's getting 92. We have Hamilton, and we need to upgrade Leech. We have Hamilton, and we need to upgrade Leech. Just got to be smart here. Hamilton goes up to a 90. It is a speed boost. He absolutely needs that. And that'll leave us with two upgrades for Leech. It worked out pretty well. We're going to have to do it. We're going to have to deal with it, and that's how it's going to be. There's one, 
and two upgrades for Lee. He'll go up to an 87 this week, and that's where he's going to stay. Especially because this is the last event before Team of the Season, you have to think it is anyways. That's all right, because Leech will be on the team for good. So maybe by the end of all this, we will downgrade Numenin. Maybe by the end of all this, Numenin will be gone. Haven't decided yet. If we were to downgrade Numenin, I get all those collectibles back. We can upgrade Hamilton all the way. We would need a right-handed defenseman. Do we have any right-handed D-men that we can use right now where Numenin is? I'm just going to look. I don't think we do, but I'm going to double check just in case. Any right-handed defenseman. We have no one, so we're good, on, at least for another week. Numenin might be gone. We may get rid of Numenin, and uh, we'll have Dobson and Hamilton be our top two, and then we can just put somebody in. If there's a right-handed D-man maybe next week for this event, we're all set. Newest additions, Theo Fleury, Wayne Gretzky, and Brian Leash. Not a huge week this week for our team changes, but we have a vision for what we're going to be doing next week. Power up Gretzky, 100% next week. That Gretzky is gone, and Jeremy Roenick next week as well. From here, guys, we're going to go ahead and hop into a game of Hot Champs, hopefully get a W. Wish me luck. Actually, before we get into a game, I went ahead and did a couple more Silver rerolls, Just to get a couple more packs in here. Why not? You never know, right? Maybe we get lucky, and uh, maybe we don't. You know what? We probably don't. Let's be real. Wow, look at that. Not e 74 high. Come on, EA. You can do better than that. Then next pack, I am guaranteeing at least an 80. I guarantee it. There, okay, uh, uh, Seth Griffith at 76. Is that, is that, that's not quite 80. All right, let's get into our champs game. Wish me luck, and hopefully we get a dub. All right, we have a game. We're playing said 28. Big game incoming. If we win, well, we get a better reward for next week. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Winning and losing does not mean much in rivals. However, in champs, we do get stuff for winning games, so hopefully we can pick up a W. Now, that being said, this guy's team is absolutely stacked, so it's going to be tough. But we have a pretty good team now, right? It, it's hard for us to use that excuse anymore that our team's not good enough to compete. We might not have Gretzky. We may not have, you know, Suzuki and Dewey and all the cards that these other guys have. We have a good enough team to compete. Here goes Fetch. He's in on the backhand. Scores! Andrei Svechnikov makes it 1-0. Big goal there. Let's go early. Able to get him making a mistake on the line change, and we capitalize. Huge. Carter the Cooch shoots, and if that one doesn't get blocked, it's likely 2-0. Good job getting in front of that puck. And there we go, Barzell with a steal. We're all over this guy early. Barzell to McCabe, and that one's sitting there. Oh, wait, is it in? It's in? No, it's not in. Now it is! Barzell makes it 2-0. I don't know what is going on. Puck is bouncing everywhere, but either way, we have a 2-0 lead. Goalie's flopping around like a fish in the net, and luckily we capitalize on that as well. We're up by 2 here early in the first. Man, we almost had a chance shorthanded there, but unfortunately couldn't get around Heiskanen. Really good opportunity, though, and we're shorthanded. Come on, get in there, Dobson. Good hit. Tries to free the puck up. McKinnon gets it right back, shoots, and saved by Igor. My lines are screwed up. I just saw that Flurry's playing defense instead of Leech on the on the PK. That's not good. Probably should have looked through my lines, but hey, you know, that's my own mistake. If we lose because of it, it's my own fault. Speaking of, here comes Flurry. Scores! He got one! Alright, hold on. No longer upset about my lines being backwards as Theo Flurry gets one shorthanded. We're up by three. Uh-oh, Dougie has a step. He's in. A little Dotsuk for you. No, he's not able to get it. And maybe I should stop trolling. That goal could have been the game. And instead, I don't score. Probably should have went for the easy one there. Here comes Mario the other way. And a good poke by our Mario. No, can't free up that puck. Gretzky has it down low. Igor with the save. I gotta be smarter than this. This isn't rivals. This is hut champs. Oh, oh, no, that one does not get by. I mean, it got by Igor. It does not get into the back of the net. It had a really good opportunity to happen, and it did not. We remain up by three. Good job by Leech. 30 seconds. Oh, he got bumped. I was not looking. I was looking for somebody to pass to, but uh, 20 seconds to go now in the first. Here comes Leech. He's got Solani. He gets bumped. Eight seconds to go, and that's likely going to do it for our first period. We're going to escape up by... Uh, no, hold on. All right, we're going to escape. We're gonna we're gonna escape we're gonna escape up by three. Holy crap! The puck is bouncing a ton. 
Your stats after one, pretty even except for the score. We're doing pretty well here. Let's take a look at this guy's team. Mario Lemieux at 95. He's got Team Builder Nash, Team Builder Cello. He's got Team Mussolini at 94. Team Builder Larry Robinson, 99 Doughty. We got Gretzky. Team of the Year McKinnon, Team of the Year McDavid. He's got pretty much every good card, right? If you're looking for a God Squad, you have found it. This guy's team is absolutely it. Taking a look at the goalie, it's going to be even Team of the Year Olmark. Like, what? An absolutely stacked team. Hopefully, we can uh, stay on him here in the second and pick up that W. Halsey. Oh, man, that puck goes through the crease but couldn't get a stick on it. We're going to kill off the penalty. Matthews, man, if he gets a shot off, it's probably a goal. We had a wide open net to shoot at but couldn't get the shot off. We're really all over this guy right now. Matthews again. That one saved by Olmark. Come on, guys. We need to break through. And we're going to draw another penalty. Svech walks out. Wide open net. Or wide open in the slot. And he makes it 4-zip. And that might be the game. Legitimately wide open. Couldn't couldn't be more wide open than that. And that is the game. We win. 4 nothing. Not a single player near him. But not a single player. I, I don't know what, the guy, what number 8 is doing. I'm not totally sure. But uh, on defense here, he's just hanging out behind the net on his own. But either way, left the goalie wide open. That's an easy shot for Svetch as we win for Zip. And we finish off this episode with a big dub. We finish this week with 1,404,379 coins. We've made 1.47 million coins in Gliding the Glory. We have a few more weeks to go. Anyways, guys, I'm out of here. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed We'll be back next week with another episode of Glide into Glory. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay frosty.